This is the question of uh, 2015, October, November, paper 1-3. And uh, uh, it is question number 37. So let's uh, first uh, read the question properly. So the question reads like this. A network of resistors, each of resistance 1 ohm is shown like this. The current passing through the end resistor here, end resistor here is 1, am 1 ampere. What is the potential difference V across the input terminals? So uh, before analyzing the circuit, let me uh, give uh, several names to different junctions here. So A, B, C, D. And uh, uh, since this is uh, 1 ampere here, it should be 1 ampere here and it should be 1 ampere here. And we have to find the uh, PD across the terminals like this. So uh, since it's a long one, uh, I have uh, uh, previously drawn this thing and uh, uh, I'll, I'll be using it for the explanation. So I can change uh, this uh, circuit arrangement like this. So these two combine to form a new resistor resistance of 2, um, two ohm and uh, the current through this path through this path is 1 ampere. Now since it is 1 ampere through 1 ohm, the PD across these two terminals should be 2 volt because it is uh, 1 ampere into 2 ohm is 2 volt. So the PD across this or this, these two points should be equal to 2 volt. Now uh, since uh, we have 2 ohm resistance here and 1 ohm resistance here, the current here should be more and it will be 2 ampere because since the current through 2 ohm is uh, uh, 1 ampere, the current through 1 ohm should be 2 ampere because the PD is same. So now we uh, arrange these two in a single uh, form here. These two resistors are in parallel, so that's why they two will form 0 0.67 ohm because the parallel of 1 and 2 is 0 0.67. You can show this in calculator like this as well. So I have uh, two resistors. One is 2, 2 reciprocal plus 1 reciprocal equal to and again reciprocal gives us 0 0.6666 and so on. So that's why this is the parallel arrangement, parallel combination of 2 and 1 ohm. Now, since this is 1 ampere and since this is 2, 2 ampere, the current going through this combination is 3 ampere. So it's 3 ampere here, 3 ampere here. So I've copied it here, 3 ampere here and 3 ampere here. Now, since this is a 2 volt here, I have used 2 volt across this AB. AB here, AB here, 2 volt. Now, this resistor and this resistor is in series. So by the use of voltage divider, what I can say is, if it is a 2 volt across 0 0.67, it should be 3 volt across 1. So it should be somewhat like this. If it is a 2 volt across 0 0.67 ohm, it should be 3 volt across 1. I can know, I can do it like this. So 2 divided 0.666667 equal to into 1 equal to this much, which is 3 volt. So 3 volt here. Now, I can read uh, this circuit as this. So this 1 ohm and this 0 0.67 ohm are in series. So that means the total resistance will be 1.67 ohm. And now, since this is 3 volt and this is 2 volt, the total combined voltage here will be 5 volt. So I have used 5 volt here. So 5 volt across CD. 5 volt across CD. Now again, this resistor and this resistor are in parallel. So the parallel of these two will be somewhat like this. So the parallel of 1.67 and 1. So 1.666667 reciprocal plus 1 reciprocal equal to and this reciprocal equal to this much. So it is 0 0.625 ohm. So we have 0 0.625 ohm here and we have 5 volt here, 5 volt across CD, so 5 volt across CD. Now this resistor and this resistor is in, are in series. So if it is 5 volt across CD, it should be 8 volt across this resistor, 
which we can do like this so 5 divided 0 0.625 5 into 1 equal to so it is 8 volt now these two resistors are again in series so 8 volt plus 8, 5 volt should be 13 volt so that means the PD across this source should be 13 volt which is in our choice number let us see choice number is D here